Hi, welcome to What's Happening. Here are the top five stories. At number five, a high court in Kebi State has reinstated Uche Sekundos as the national chairman of the People's Democratic Party. Justice Nusirat Umar of the Kebi State High Court gave the order on Thursday in a suit brought before her in Benin Kebi, the state capital. Recall that a River State High Court had suspended Sekundos and had ordered him to stop parading himself as PDP chairman. Following the Rivers Court order, the Board of Trustees of the PDP had ratified the party's Deputy National Chairman representing South, Yemi Akinwomi, as the Acting National Chairman of the party, in line with the party's constitution. But the Rivers Court order was stayed by Justice Umar of the Kebi State High Court on Thursday. At number four, bandits have allegedly sent a threat letter to the Federal Technical College of Education in Gusau, Zamfara State, informing them of an impending visit. The provost of the college, Dr. Omar Bellu, confirmed the receipt of the letter of threat, saying that the management of the college has put some measures in place to safeguard the lives of both staff and students. Bellu said the threat letter was no longer a secret, as it has been in circulation, pointing out that when the letter went viral on social media platforms, the college authorities contacted the security agencies and the military for quick intervention. At number three, the recruitment process organized by the Saudi Arabian Ministry of Health has been suspended following the disruption of the exercise by the Department of State Services. Operatives of the DSS stormed Sheraton Hotel in Abuja, the venue of the recruitment process, on Thursday to disperse medical doctors and others who showed up for the enrollment. The exercise, which began on Tuesday, saw medical doctors and consultants in their hundreds flood the Ladi Kwali Hall of the hotel to participate in the recruitment, while another exercise was scheduled for Thursday. But on Thursday morning, DSS operatives stormed the hotel and dispersed doctors and journalists who had gathered at the venue. However, the DSS has denied dispersing applicants at the Saudi Arabian recruitment venue. In a brief statement released on Friday morning by DSS Public Relations Officer Peter Afunaya, titled DSS did not disperse doctors at Sheraton Hotel Abuja, the security outfit said the news is only designed to embarrass the organization. At number two, bandits have released the pupils of Salihu Tanko Islamia School in Terjina, Rafi local government area of Niger State, who they kidnapped from the school premises on May 30th. The students were released on Thursday night in Benin Gwari local government area of Kaduna State after spending 86 days in captivity. Kasim Mubaragana, a resident who earlier delivered some part of the ransom to the bandits in the forest, was among the people who received the freed pupils at Doka village in Benin Gwari local government area. It was gathered that the pupils were released after another payment of over 60 million naira and five new motorcycles as ransom to the bandits. The children were said to have been conveyed from Benin Gwari to Mina, Niger State, and will be reunited with their families today, Friday. Recall that on Tuesday, in an interview with Arise TV, Abubakar Hassan, the head teacher of the school, had disclosed that five of the 136 school children died in the abductor's camp. Hassan had also stated that many of the children were young and weak, ranging from 4 to 17 years. At number one, the anchors of Channels Television were summoned to the Aso Villa office of the National Broadcasting Commission in Abuja on Thursday, following an interview they granted the governor of Benue State, Samuel Autumn. Yesterday, reports emerged that anchors of the Sunrise Daily program of the TV station were arrested by operatives of the Department of State Services over the anti-Buhari interview. But in a statement released by DSS spokesman Peter Afunaya on Thursday, the service debunked the report, saying no reporter was arrested. Also, Channels Television released an official statement clarifying that their reporters were not arrested but invited for a meeting by the NBC and that the reporters had since returned from the meeting. In an Instagram post, the convener of Revolution Now, Omoyele Shawore, confirmed the summon, saying his crew stood guard at the premises of the NBC until the reporters were released. Shore further said we will resist any attempt to take away press freedom and free press by the tyrannical Mohammed Buhari regime. Always remember to wear your mask, wash your hands and stay safe. That's all for now. See you next time on What's Happening.